my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shane Patrick Cormac. This is my story. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shane. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting the smugglers would lead to no good? Oh, I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Chevalier. I'm going too fast for you. I'm just keeping an eye on you in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick of that. There's space that... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Captain Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? That's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Adieu, adieu! How dare you show me such disrespect! How dare you show me such disrespect! Gentlemen, stop! 
We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You treat... Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, say with care, say. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. They don't stand a chance. Where are your Not mates bad. now, you bilge rat? Thank you. Keep an eye out, lads! Their pals are still out there somewhere! There he goes again. Thanks. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Better away! Seek that fresh vessel! No man for you! Ha ha! Yeah! Come on! That's the way! Saving those feathers for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shake. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. You should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about your captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this beautiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell of a ship. Her own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. Indeed, mate. Look, 
Connor. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. A ship! This is a false ship! They will sink her! Let's put the Morgan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, man! Would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Emergency. Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Please proceed calmly to the nearest exit. We repeat, please remain calm. Do not panic. Please proceed to the nearest exit. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not <sighs> Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shay Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell? Your session triggered something bad and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. This is not a test. We repeat, this is not a test. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's a 
contracted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? Elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DeCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. stated unequivocally that Al-Mualim was not a Templar. It is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. Uh, okay. So, I'm not sure you're supposed to see that. Just, uh, you should just get back to your animus. With the servers back online, you could, in theory, restore your co-workers' workstations if you, you know, feel like being helpful. And you could, in theory, find some more digital goodies if you, you know, be like being sneaky. Hey, one of your co-workers dropped his communicator by the elevator. It has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself. And hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. Man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook. 
and the ocean waves crashed over port of prince How many were lost? Thousands. Making others no wait for you, as usual? Context. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this, but did Mackendall's man complete his task? The Wally looked worried, though. I cannot move. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true at least. What would we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Huh, a classic haystack. Hide in it and surprise your target when he gets close. Top form, Shay. Stay low and stick to the brush. Be patient and you might hit your target. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Never fall. I am waiting. Why back up? I am 
Waiting. Climb back up. It is time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. I hope that you will demonstrate more skill to your other teachers. Farewell for now. What's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You can take your time. Not too much. There's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up. running out. Well done, Shane. Keep it up. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Go on, get a move on. I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. 
I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. We only have one reach. Let's hope it brings us closer to the artifacts. So Achilles tasked you with this mission? No. He tasked me to task you. We need to find what was stolen from Mackendall Shea. You have to recover the precursor box and manuscript. This is your mission. And what's yours? You watch your arse. Achilles doesn't really trust me, does he? Give you time, Shea. Do this for him. For us. Much more than I distrust. Liam, do you know what Achilles writes about? I see him in his office all the time, bent over his papers. He keeps records and accounts. Studies what little is known about the pieces of Eden. And of course, he corresponds with assassins of other continents. Of course? Liam, you can be a right horse's arse when it comes to assuming everyone knows the same as you. I cannot help if Achilles wants me to be familiar with our counterparts in Europe and elsewhere. Said like his favorite son. Connor's his favorite and only son. And Achilles is heir. Connor may inherit the house, but you'll be mentor. We'll see. Whatever you say, Prince Regent of the Assassins. You call me that again. I'll throw you in the ocean.
Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah! The cabbage farmers return! About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our allies has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shay. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only there was beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about the chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. I. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. But it's much more than that. There, Captain. An English vessel. And she looks to be in trouble. That's fine, indeed. Perhaps we should have to the bottom of the sea. Let's not be too hasty. She's full of crown cargo. Take a look for your spyglass and see for yourself. It's exciting. I say this is a good day to lighten King George's pockets. Be careful. A few shots should be enough to cripple her. Too much damage and she'll go down with all souls. And all spoils. We can board and lose her before the crew knows what hit them. Sinker.
Show them what's for, Captain. Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the bar again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. There's a harbour master station nearby. We can spend our new wealth on improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He gathers many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. It's a shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, it is. And here, the assassins are helping King Louis. But in Haiti, the French own the slaves who are set free by the assassins. Our struggle is beyond political borders, Shay. And Dicasi shouldn't be far. Keep us on course, Captain. No match for us, Captain! He's breaking up! Hold the flight! Is this the place? We've got them with fishermen and their gear. The first day and fishing go hand in hand. It will serve our purpose as well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far.
run bitte business, ne? Chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats! You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. These cowards must pay! And would you look at that? Standing right in our way, Tad. What say you? You sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Figured out for us. And maybe I'm Emperor of Rome. Obvious Caesar. Salt air, open skies, man out on the ocean. He's as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason, Shay. Mind your duty. But what's the point of freedom if you cannot breathe deep and enjoy it? The temperance stick to this continent like tar. I won't feel liberated until we fry them off. Seems to me we should just talk to them like men, instead of skulking around. And would you smile and wish them a good day as they lay their boot on your neck? Of course not. They're murdered bastards who want to control the world every minute. Never forget. But we have nothing in common with that, of course. There it is. Articusti. Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Let me 
Missy. That's not rum. It's Eau de Vie. What the devil is that? Hi, Miss My Marie. Such a true and fine heart. Where did you meet her? At her third wedding. <laughs> I slipped into the feast. I would say you slipped into more than that. I don't know. Because there are more French ships to challenge them. Who has more ships to bring? by far. This is more like it. and they think they can fly. <laughs> so, Louis Joseph. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where to no charts, no, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Washington talks is ours. Liam, you're finally getting into the spirit of things. He's a temper and a politician. What's there to like? Good. 
Why stank her? Where does Chevalier get off ordering us around like that? We're assassins, same as him. He's more experienced and he knows these waters better, Shay. That makes him in charge in these parts. Well, he commands me around back at the homestead too. Is he a truffle pig to know land better than me? Show some respect, Shay. He ought to respect me, Liam. I stick my neck out as much as any of us. Yeah, twice as often, it seems. But that's just the thing. Chevalier hangs back and thinks before making a decision. His experience has earned him that right. I w How much more experience I'll need before I can decide when to wake up or take action. I swear, Liam, sometimes I feel I was born... Rough and strange for me, but at least we decided where and when. What do you be needing today then? Run bit of business, that. Most welcome here, sir. My gratitude. Godspeed.